You are welcome to another video of ISS routing protocol concept and configuration. In this section, we will have a configuration example to configure ISS over IPv6, but in a network with multi topology. Multi topology means IPv4 and IPv6 have different topologies, and then ISS has to run two independent SP process for IPv4 and IPv6. In today's networks, all kinds of services are offered simultaneously for example ip version 4 ip version 6 and multicast services coexist in a network and the topology of each service may be different from the other for example if some network routers don't support ip version 6 or if you want multicast traffic to only go through the certain routers in the network in these examples Despite the fact that all these services are active on a shared network, the topology of each service differs from the other. As you know, in ISIS and OSPF routing protocol, the SPF process runs on the topology and then extract the best pass. By default, ISIS is in a single topology mode. This means that there is no separate SPF process for the IP version 6 topology. Therefore, if the topology of IP version 6 differs from IP version 4, routing in IP version 6 will have problems since the best routes are calculated and chosen based on the common topology. OSPF protocol behaves always as multi-topology. In other words, IP version 4 and IP version 6 neighbors are created separately and the database of each of them is kept separately from the other and the SPF process is also run separately for IP version 4 and IP version 6. However, this is not the case in the default ISIS protocol and it is assumed that the two IPv4 and IPv6 protocols have the same topology and therefore the same adjacency database and SPF process are used. But don't worry, ISIS also has multi-topology capability. If the IPv4 network topology is different from IP version 6, you can use multi-topology feature in ISIS. With multi-topology, it is no longer necessary for both IPv4 and IPv6 to have the same topology. In this mode, ISIS works better and more efficiently than OSPF because even in the multi-topology, there is no separate adjacency and database table for IPv4 and IPv6. Hello Packets and LSP advertise each interface IPv4 and IPv6 capability by adding a label and therefore also IPv4 and IPv6 share a common database. Each router knows what address types are supported by each of the network interfaces. However, there are common adjacency and database tables for IPv4 and IPv6, but separate SPF process are run for IPv4 and IPv6 topologies. And therefore, an independent routing table is created for IPv4 and IP version 6. In this topology, the routers 1 and 2 are connected directly to each other. In router 2, only IP version 4 is configured, but both IPv4 and IP version 6 are configured on the other side of link on the router 1. A normal, simple Single topology ISIS is configured in this topology. The configuration is also displayed in the figure and there is no special configuration to explain. If we check adjacency in router 1, you can see that no adjacency is created between router 1 and router 2, which show ISIS neighbors. This is because each of the routers sends IPv4 or IPv6 capability in the hello packet and if the capabilities between the neighbors are not the same the adjacency will not be created the output of the command debug isis adjacency packet 
Ethernet 0, 0. On router 1 shows that IPv6 is not active on the received hello packet and does not match the router itself. As you can see, receive level 1 hello, no usable IP version 6 link local. It is also true for level 2 hello packet, no usable IP version 6 link local address in LAN hello packet from Ethernet 00 is received. And then no debug all. This topology shows a network where IP version 6 and IP version 4 have different topologies between router 2 and router 3 are only addressed with IP version 4, but the rest of the network are addressed with both IP version 4 and IP version 6 as you can see in the topology. In the first step, ISIS is configured in usual single topology mode. But in the right upside of the figure, the configuration of multi topology is shown with a green color which is not applied to the rotors in the first step. And in this mode, IPv4 and IPv6 addresses are only sent as two TLV name IP version 4 TLV reachability and IP version 6 TLV reachability within the LSP without checking the integrity of IP version 4 and IP version 6 topology. In the first step, ISIS is configured in the usual single topology mode. The configuration is shown in the figure. Interfaces with both IPv4 and IPv6 are configured with the both command IP router ISIS and IP version 6 router ISIS. However, interfaces with only IPv4 addresses are only configured with IP router ISIS. For example, in router 2 and in Ethernet 01, which is connected to the router 3. The top right of the figure, as I have explained, shows the multi topology ISIS configuration, which is not applied to the rotors in the first step. If we check the output of show ISIS neighbors and show ISIS topology in the rotor 3, show ISIS neighbors and show ISIS topology, you can see that all neighborship have been created without any problem and without considering the difference between IPv4 and IP version 6 topology. In such a situation, router 4 learns the path to the IPv6 address connected to the router 1. However, the communication with this address should not be possible because part of the network only lets IPv4 traffic to be transferred. Let's check it in the router 4 with the command show IP route ISIS and show IP version 6 route ISIS. You can see that IP version 6 address of loopback interface connected to the router 1, AAA1, is learned the router 4 and through the interface Ethernet 00 and through the router 3. But the communication should not be possible. Ping IP version 6 and then this is the IP address. As we can see, it's unreachable. We can also check it with trace route. Again, the same address. As we can see, it is unreachable. In ISIS, IP version 6 addresses are advertised based on IP version 4 topology regardless of the difference between IP version 4 and IP version 6 topology and IP version 6 addresses were considered only as topology leaves transmitted through the TLV in ISIS routing protocol. To solve this problem, multi-topology ISIS must be activated in this, in this network 
in which case ISIS will create two different topologies, one for IP version 4 and the other for IP version 6. To enable multi-topology, two commands are required on all rotors. First, the metric type is changed to the wide, as you can see in the command, because TLV that transmit IP version 6 information only use this type of metric. And second, we must enable multi-topology on all rotors. In a few minutes, I will explain why the keyword transition is used at the end of multi-topology command. Let's copy the configuration in all rotors. Paste and rotor 2. Paste and rotor 3. And rotor 4. After enabling multi-topology mode, two different topologies are created for IP version 4 and IP version 6, which can be checked with command show ISIS topology for IP version 4 and show ISIS IP version 6 topology for IP version 6. In such a situation, the topology table output shows that the rotor Three can only create a path to reach the IP version network connected to the rotor 4 and has no path to reach the rotor number 1 and rotor number 2. Another point that should be noted is that all rotors must be in a single topology or multi-topology mode. If some network rotors are in a single topology mode and some others in multi-topology mode, then the multi-topology rotors will not recognize the capability of multi-topology rotors in IP version 6, which will result in the failure of proper routing of IP version 6 traffic. Now a question arises to move ISIS from single mode to multi-topology mode. We need to gradually move the rotors from the single to multi-topology mode. In such a situation, some rotors are in a single topology mode and some others in a multi-topology mode in between, which result in incorrect routing. To solve the problem, we have used the keyword transition at the end of multi-topology command, which allows a network operating in single topology ISIS IP version 6 support mode to continue to work while upgrading the rotors to include multi-topology ISIS IP version 6 support. While in transmission mode, both type of TLV, single topology and multi-topology are sent in LSP for all configured IP version 6 addresses. But the rotor continues to operate in single topology mode.